What's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl Jay, and I'm back to pop my sh again. If you are new to this channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you are a returning subscriber, you already know what to do. What's up, gang? Make sure you guys like, comment, share. Make sure you guys also subscribe to Out Loud, which is my web show since around mental health. It'll be linked in the description box below, as well as on all my social links. Make sure you guys follow my Instagram, my TikTok, Out Loud's Instagram and TikTok. Um, I have new episodes coming. So yes, make sure you guys stay tuned. As you guys can tell by the title, today I will be talking about 23 hard truths I had to learn um, or that or 23 hard truths I've learned so far in my 23 years of living. I've been out all day. It's currently 1.52 a.m. in the morning and I've been out. I left my house literally around 3.30. And so I've been out all day, but that's neither here nor there, okay? We're gonna talk about these truths. And I do have on my necklace and my top from Fasholi Fly Girl. So make sure you guys check them out on Instagram. They were so nice enough to send this to me and it came with a matching necklace. And it's a two piece set, which you can find more details about that on my TikTok and also in the description box below. But without further ado, we're gonna get started with the video. I decided to do this video because I feel that it could be helpful to people who, you know, are around my age or, you know, younger than me who just, you know, need that reassurance of things that you may, you know, need as you're getting older, growing up, becoming an adult. Um, I know the transition of a teenager to a young adult, um, it wasn't really easy for me, I'll be honest and say, it just wasn't. And I, you know, life has been life for me. Um, I said this on my TikTok, life has been life for me. And I'm just so blessed and so grateful and thankful that, you know, I'm able to, um, I guess you could say, I'm, number one, I'm grateful and thankful that I'm still breathing, but I'm also grateful and thankful that I'm able to, you know, help others. You know, I can give you guys what I've learned so far and to help you. And this is also some things that can also, you know, help you in any situation, not even just throughout life, but in any situation. Some of the, the tips that I have are very valuable, okay? And we're gonna get into it. I'm not gonna talk to them. I'm just gonna get into them. I hadn't done. I hadn't done a sit down talk video in a minute, so I'm actually super, super excited to do this. And it's late, and I just, I'm in my mood right now, okay? I'm in my mood. First hard truth I had to learn is health is wealth. Mental health over everything, okay? I told myself in 2023, I'm putting my mental health over everything. I'm putting my mental health over a job, my mental health over my dating life, my mental health over friendships, my mental health over just everything. Health is wealth. You, you want to make sure that you're not only mentally healthy, but that you're physically healthy, making sure that you're working now, you're eating right, you're not eating um, crazy things, all types of um, junk food, and just not putting the best things in your body. Um, also, you want to also make sure that you're emotionally healthy. Make sure you are healing. Make sure you're journaling. If you need to go to therapy, it's nothing wrong with that. A lot of people do not understand that that your health literally correlates with you know where you're going in life your success your health literally correlates with your success i don't care what nobody says like the the wealthiest people i'm telling you they eat right they drink their water they eat their fruits and i know you can say like oh it's because they have the money to do so oh they have the time oh they have this start now okay health is wealth your knowledge is never complete. You will learn something new every day, no matter the age or wisdom. Um, that's me. Like, I learn something new every day. Like, what did I learn new today? I don't know what I learned new today. I can't really remember. But I did recently find out that, like, when you're pregnant, you can't have seafood. So someone had asked, like, what are you going to do later on in life when you get pregnant? Um, this and this, I'm not pregnant, never been pregnant, okay? But this was just a conversation that I was just having with someone because I am pescatarian. I like eating seafood. And I recently found out that 
you know, pregnant people cannot consume a lot of fish. And I didn't know that. So your knowledge is never complete. You're gonna always learn things. Don't be afraid to learn things. Don't be scared to learn things. Don't be scared to try new things and learn new things. Number three, this one I am working on like a lot. Recently, I've been working on a lot. Um, speaking with attention, okay? You want to make sure that you're speaking with confidence, making sure that you're exuding that this is what I'm saying and this is what I mean. This is what I mean and this is what I'm saying, okay? You want to make sure you're standing on everything that you're saying. Be intentional and clear when you talk. Don't, don't I, I understand that kind of stuttering and stumbling. That's where I come from. And it kind of, I have bad anxiety, okay? I have really, really bad anxiety. So when I'm talking, I can kind of stumble over my words or sometimes I'm not really saying exactly what I want to say. No. Be clear and be intentional about everything that you want to say. I used to be a very vocal person, like always telling my opinions, always saying whatever I needed to say, but then it got to a point to where I just wasn't like speaking in certain situations i would find myself getting quiet i wouldn't say much and sometimes i'm still like that like even today i've been out all day but it's moments where like i just go silent and just don't talk like yes you have to open up your throat, throat chakra and be very clear and intentional when you talk you will change in your 20s and that is okay i'm no longer a kid you are a young adult and you must act accordingly it's okay to switch things up once you're entering in your 20s you know you're 21 22 23 you're going to change you're not going to be the same when you were 17 18 19 it just doesn't work like that it's okay to change in your 20s it's okay to change your environment change your friend group change your relationships change whatever it is change your style your appearance the way you talk the way you act it's okay you're going to change i'm 23 and i'm pretty sure i'm not going to be this way forever you do not have to follow trends okay be original it's okay it's okay to be in your own lane doing things your own way you don't have to do everything the same as you see everyone else doing you don't have to do everything the same way switch it up you know, if it's a certain TikTok and you see um, somebody's going viral from a certain TikTok, you don't have to copy it verbatim. You can do it, you know, any type of way you, you feel that you should be able to do it. It's okay to be original. Six, do not feel pressured to do anything. Rather that's moving out, making a big purchase, doing something you don't want to do, um, but it will make some somebody else happy, no, okay? It's do not feel pressured to do anything thing do not feel pressure to buy a five thousand dollar bag because you've seen your favorite influencer buy a five thousand dollar bag do not feel pressure to go out and stay out all night drinking and smoking when you know you have an assignment due at 11 59 okay do not feel pressure understand that things are going to always be there you know those material things it's going to be there um um, experiences such as the club and parties it's going to be there do not feel pressure to jump out and do something like if you're able to stay at home and save do not be <laughs> do not feel pressure on moving out because it's definitely very hard okay don't feel pressure to do anything I know social media and just even just growing up in general um we feel pressure to do things and you don't have to now turn your pain into purpose and i'm not even gonna speak too much about that but just know that whatever you're going through do not let that be the end you are not what you go through you can turn whatever it is that you're going through and make it your purpose you can turn whatever it is that you're going through and make it your bet to never you know never get like that again like to never feel that pain you know turn that pain into joy because you can slow motion is still motion as long as you're making progress it's okay progress is still progress you have to understand everybody's at their own on their own journey everybody's running their own race everybody's going their own pace do not feel pressure and also slow motion is still motion so just because things are not happening as quickly as you want them to happen um still acknowledge those small wins now learn how to read the room be more observant i'm a very observant person that's the why in public um settings i tend to be very quiet especially when i'm just like getting around people and stuff i like to just be very observant i like to sit and just watch peep game you have to learn how to read the room okay um 
that's just kind of self-explanatory like you know learning how to peep game i guess i guess that's learning how to peep game you just have to learn how to read the room when you out and you out at the club and you out in the section um just watching your surroundings just being more just just being intentional, just looking like. I, I really can't go too deep into that, but learn how to read the room and be more observant. Number 10, do not believe everything you see on social media. I'm gonna say it again. Number 10, do not believe everything you see on social media, you guys. Understand, like I said, everybody's on their own journey. Um, trust and believe this social media shit, it could look one way, but it don't even be that, okay? It don't, so don't be pressured. Not be afraid to do things alone. Solo dates, solo trips, anything that you can do to get some alone time. Girl, get you some alone time, okay? Get you some alone time. I literally got up today and I was like, I'm not finna sit in this house. I'm not finna wait on nobody. I put on my clothes. I headed to the movies. And then I met some people there. Then I met up with my friend later. Like, just learn how to get up and go. You never know what a day can take you. You never know who you can meet when you're out. It's okay to make new friends. And keep making friends until you find the right right ones that are for you okay now this right here is so important as you're you know getting um older and you're growing up you have to learn to use your discernment when making friends um just because you've had friends for you know years it's cool it's cute but it's okay to make new friends it's okay to be um open to new relationships and open to new friendships you know i understand that um i'm so sorry yeah my phone is going off let me that's so unprofessional i'm so sorry friend that you met that you only had for like two months could be better than the friend that you had for two years simple as that like it's okay to be alone you do not have to be in a relationship and you don't have to fall in love and meet prince charming and get married and have kids right away it's okay to be alone i've been single pretty much my whole life i've never been in a real relationship um and no i don't think it's nothing wrong with me it's not me it's them it's not me it's them it's not me, it's them, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not me, it's them. It's okay though, it's okay to be alone. Um, I do appreciate the fact that um, I am alone in this time because I feel like right now, this is like my growing phase. Like I'm just growing and I'm healing and I'm just, I'm just feeling so content with where I'm at in life. And I'm just been so, I've just been so fixated on peace. Like, I've been praying for peace. And that's one thing I don't have to worry about. Like, I don't have to worry about no God blowing up my phone where you at. I don't have to worry about blowing up his phone, asking him where he at. I don't have to worry about none of that. Like, my life is very peaceful. Um, and it's okay to be alone. Don't let people make you feel like you have to rush to be in a relationship or rush to get married and have kids and do all of that. Um, you got your whole life ahead. And I understand tomorrow's not promised, but it's okay to... to you know not be focused on guys or girls or whatever the case is it's okay it's okay to be alone 14 stop overthinking overthinking can put you in a deep rabbit hole that you cannot get yourself out of if it gets too deep and do not let that go over your head okay? i am the queen of overthinking and i hate the fact that i overthink so much because I'm now at a place in my life where I feel like I've dug myself into this rabbit hole. And I'm not gonna say I can't get myself out because I do feel myself kind of getting back in that mode. Like, you know, I'm recording a video right now and it's two o'clock in the morning. Um, it's just about being motivated. Um, don't overthink. Everything doesn't have to be perfect. Um, just go for it, just do it. You have to read. You have to freaking read. All I'm gonna say is the stuff that you really need to know is in them books. That's all I'm gonna say. 16, stop focusing on who doesn't support you and work with who do. Um, in the past, I used to always be like, well, why this person don't like my pictures? Or why this person don't shop with me? Or why this person don't do this? Why this person don't do that? When it was clearly people who were liking my videos, were liking my um, posts on Instagram, or they were shopping with me when I had the Queen of Collection. Focus on those people that are supporting you and just multiply off that do not be worried about people um who are not showing you love and who are not supporting you nine times out of ten um it can be coming from a place of hate or they could just be simply wanting to be where you at 
Number 17, don't be scared of change, good or bad. It's all for a greater purpose. Um, change is hard. I remember telling someone when I graduated, I want to be a change woman. I'm a change person. I just want to change and be a better person. Baby, I didn't know life was going to be like this. When I say my life has done a 360 within the last, maybe, it was shit. Shit within the last year. <laughs> I'm not even the same person I was last year, not just the last month, okay? It's okay to change. It's okay. Don't be scared of it. Don't be scared of it. Um, I'm still getting over my fear of change. Um, just You just can't be scared of it. Listen, what you want is on the other side of fear. And understand that everyone is not like you. Just because you have a given heart doesn't mean everyone will reciprocate it. Thought that because I treat people with genuine respect, love, loyalty, that I will get the same back. No. Like, that was a hard truth I really had to learn and a hard pill I had to swallow. Because it's like, dang, like, I would have done so much for you, but the energy that I get back is not reciprocated. Sometimes you gotta learn how to snip, snip. Still, still. 19, for my women, it's okay to have a hard exterior. You do not always have to be soft on the outside. It's okay to stand your ground on the outside, but still make sure you're genuine and sweet on the inside. Um, I recently um, heard a quote, people with a hard exterior rarely have a soft, no, no, no. People with a hard exterior um, more than likely have a soft interior basically so basically if you're hard on the outside or like you just come off like real still you're really a genuine sweet person you're just you just don't let people get close to you you just you know you're kind of scared of getting close to people because you know how genuine and sweet you can be and that's me like i do have a hard exterior i won't lie i'm not gonna sit up here and say like i'm a very genuine and sweet person and i do have a welcoming spirit but i will say when it comes to like getting close with people and trying to be friends with people, you know, I'm a little stiff, but that doesn't mean I'm, you know, stiff all the way around. No, I have a soft interior and I'm just very genuine. And I feel like for women, you know, a lot of guys or just people in general be like, oh, like you're too dominant. Oh, you're too independent. Oh, you too aggressive. Da, 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 da. It's okay. It's okay. Stand your ground. That goes back to being intentional because a lot of people will take your kindness for weakness. So it's okay to your ground it's okay to have a hard exterior it's okay to let people know you mean business and you mean what you say it's okay number 20 never let anyone or anything dim your light we live in a society full of vultures and some people who don't want to see us win so they will come around and they will say and do whatever if they can to keep us from shining we're not gonna let them okay so don't let anyone dim your light um i am a victim I am a victim of dimming my light because people told me that basically I shine too bright. Never dim your light. Ever, ever, ever. Keep shining, keep doing you. And the people that don't like it, the people that hate it, let them hate it. Let them don't like it. It is what it is. It's okay to miss out on the fun and focus on your goals. Yes, we are young and have fun, but it's most definitely okay to sit back and reevaluate your life and get your goals and dreams together. Um, that's just where I've been in life for like the past couple of years. I'm not gonna lie. Like I haven't really been on vacation. Um, my friends and people be hitting me up like, let's go to Vegas. Let's go to, to the cruise. Let's go to Bahamas. Let's go here. Let's go there. I'm like, baby, I'm getting my life together, okay? Until Out Loud is streaming to everywhere, until Out Loud brings me six figures, it's going to be a minute. And it's okay. Um, I do understand I'm young, but it's a certain um, vision I see for myself. And... Um, I definitely want Out Loud to grow. Um, I want Out Loud to be one of the biggest media platforms that's gonna empower people, that's gonna help people. So until I'm able, until I'm in a space to where I can be like, yes, I can get up and go. Yes, I can take a break. Or until I'm, you know, in my career, you know, I'm booking shows, I'm booking roles, I'm on movies and TVs and acting. Until then, I'm missing out on the fun, and that's just a sacrifice I have to make. Um, sometimes when you have a certain vision in your life and you 
want what you want, you have to make those sacrifices. You have to double down. You got to <laughs> buckle down. Hey, I can't go here with you today. I'm trying to film content. Oh, I can't do this with you. I got to be on set. Oh, I can't do this with you. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to get my business. I got to write my business plans down. I have a business meeting to go to in the morning, so I can't be out all night. Like, it's okay to miss out on fun. A lot of people make it seem like, like, don't get me wrong. I used to be outside. Trust me, I didn't have my fun. I didn't have my fun, okay? I didn't have my fun. But I do feel like now at this point, you know, I'm out of college. Um, life is getting real serious for me. So right now, I'm missing out on fun so I can get my, you know, business and everything else together. So that's just where I'm at. Okay. 22, forgive yourself and allow yourself grace. Um, whatever has happened in the past has happened and you cannot change that. Forgive yourself for the mistakes you made. Forgive yourself for the mistakes you didn't make. Just forgive yourself from the past and allow yourself grace because you're still growing. You're still healing. You're still um, becoming the person that you are meant to be in the long term. So allow yourself that grace. Don't be so hard on yourself. Last but not least, tip number 23, the hardest truth I had to learn in my personal life was showing gratitude, okay? Um, showing gratitude will get you far. Um, I'm not going to say I was an ungrateful person because I, I've been very grateful in my life, but I've always wanted more. So because I've always had the mindset of always wanting more, I never had time to sit down and just think about what I had in the moment and just appreciate um, the blessings and counting my blessings. So definitely show gratitude. You know, I know it's always something we could want on the other side. It's always something we want more. We want, you know, more money. We want a, a nicer car. We want a bigger house. It's okay. Show gratitude for the small apartment you got right now. Show gratitude for the car that is getting you from point A to point B right now because that's going to get you that bliss so those are the 23 hard truths i had to learn in my 23 years of living um that i've learned so far and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope this helps some of you i hope you guys use some of these tips into your life also make sure you guys subscribe to out loud because i will be talking more in depth about these topics on the episodes so make sure you guys go watch episodes one through four on out loud subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed like comment and share and make sure you guys follow all my socials linked in the description box below and i will see y'all in the next one and i thank y'all so so much for tuning in and rocking with me